G'day mate and welcome back to Factorio with me, JD. So we're standing here at this oil Great line. Uh this oil um oh it's not really an outpost yet. This oil field. Oil field, that's the words I'm looking for. And we're just gonna hook it up. And I'm not even gonna be neat about it because I've worked out we're close enough we can just pipe this. Um maybe not in a permanent situation, but for a temporary situation. We can definitely pipe this. Uh, let's get some power from there. Okay. Where's our next one? Over there. Bring that up. I'll do nicely. Straight pipe, out. Lazy and using straight pipe when I should. A lot more undergrounds. No. It is what it is. Because I can't run around straight pipe. Mm. I'm not sure if I want the devs to fix that or not. I'm not sure if I should be allowed to run around and over straight pipe or not. Uh, you can go that way. You can go that way. Let's go with there to there, there to there, straight pipe. Oh, I broke something. That's what I'm missing. I'm looking for oil in the pipe at all times. Because I got a couple powered up, as long as I have oil in that pipe, that means I have one continuous connection. Uh, you can go there. You can go there. Fuck. Just. Okay, so I've got oil in the pipes all the way from one end to the other. That means we're all on one continuous pipe. Good. We just need power out here. Put that there. Put that there. Substation, 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 substation. Because substation is the quickest and easiest way to power up large builds. All right, so we're going to bring this pipe this way. We're going to run it up. And then I'm going to plug in oil. And I'm willing to bet my bot's just going to hit the tree. Now, this is designed to run on trains. Like I said, we're just hooking up a temporary pipe. And I'm that short, am I? All right, and you've got to go to there. And in pipe, cover it. Oh, as I need an underground to get through there. Okay, so we need one, two undergrounds. Almost covers it. Okay, so we have oil running into one of the main tanks, which will then filter into all the other tanks eventually. Okay. It's not a lot of oil, it's not high pressure, but it will get there in the end. Okay, um, now I have one other mod that I've installed, which is called Water Fill. It's like landfill in reverse. That's the important gist of it. Um... It's basically, it's, it's a, I feel like it's a really, really cheaty mod. It's, it's, it's far too advantageous in anything that has biters in it because you can literally just make a moat around you and biters can't get in. Um, I'm lucky I've got no biters on this world. Um, but it's installed because I need to, uh, I need to, I need to add water to every single one of these refineries and every single one of the chem plants doing the cracking. Now I could bring, oh, no, that's crack, cracking's down here. Um, I could bring in one very, very, well, a lot of water via train, via pipes, via offshore pumps and try and plumb it in. It is possible. The catch is, 
it's a lot of pipe and pipe is not friendly on ups which we covered in the last episode so i'm being a little bit cheaty uh, we're gonna give you that symbol Ooh, so i remember you um we're being you might call it a little bit cheaty and i'm actually using water fill so and, and you'll see in that one and the refineries if you buy refineries um, we're using it so I can put in water there and there and line things up correctly so then I can put an offshore pump I have some there and there and they'll funnel straight in to every one of these refineries it, it it's again it's just me cutting down on the amount of crap i have on the map um it's it's sort of one of the few um one of the few times i've been less strict on myself to to sort of give myself not really an advantage but a way to i do not die not not go nuts not lose ups yeah um the other mod i have that work. No. Try again, JD. Copy there to there. And include tiles. Yeah. So the other mod I have is I have landfill. Uh, oh, shit. Um, I have it so my bots can carry landfill. Which means, by proxy, they can carry this water fill uh, entity. Uh, which is ooh. spun the blueprint that's not meant to be there anywhere not add substations probably don't add the pumps either cool um the other catch with water fill especially in multiplayer games is if you water fill under somebody um they die quite a horrific death uh, that? Well, actually, let's see. Uh, aha! It was big enough. Uh, so, yeah, I've, I've got to be really careful when putting this stuff down. Um, because, like I said, you, you die a horrific death. Uh, and same story. My bots can carry landfills, so it's pretty much that quick and easy put down all the water and then gave this one a picture of a blue put those back down I'll plug all my pipes back in like none of these refineries work because they're all ghost images but one problem at a time And we'll come back down here and we'll remove this lot and do the same. What do I need to make some? Just brick. Bots, bring me brick. Okay, we'll stand over here again and bring that way down in size. So yeah, your Factorio Commander can't swim, so uh, having this in a multiplayer game would be horrible. So, uh, I'm sorry, I want to blueprint that, and this time, let's get rid of these things in the first place. That didn't work again. Got to click the tiles button. Tiles, but not that or that or that. There we go. Just going to put down our water. Then we can put down our pumps. And then we can put down.
Man pumps. Where pumps? Landfill? Crap, where'd my landfill go? Use it all. My inside network? Yep. Bring me landfill bots. Please? Have a blueprint of landfill? Nope. Oh. Come on, where's the landfill? Green circuit. I want landfill. I know I have landfill right here. Oh. Right. I only need that much left. Hold down shift so the bots do it. Alright, that's that problem solved. And then... Go back to that one. And I paste that there. It's far from finished because there's still water there. So a lot of these pipes can't actually be placed yet but you know the bots will deal with the landfill the bots will deal with um the bots will deal with the landfill the bots will place what they can and they'll just re-blueprint it later in the meantime we'll get some refineries built to get this top half done now are you actually running there's flames coming out the top i'm gonna go with yes except we have no belt barrels in the system so let's get some barrels running. 400 barrels, please. Delivering 400 barrels. Excellent. Substation to power everything up quickly and dirty. Steel. Film bots deliver faster. Not need mining drills at this stage. They can go. You bots got landfill. Ooh, that's out of whack. That's out of whack. Oh shit, a lot of these are out of whack. No, just those two. Hmm. Where are we? That one. Wait. All right, put down the other pipe. It's about to get destroyed. Hey, pipe, go away. Hear bots flying off to put down landfills, so I'm guessing it's done. Um, that button. Line that up. Back down. Again, these guys will have oil, but I'm really hoping. No, there are some refineries. Just want the top row running. And where are my empty barrels? being delivered but I don't have stock okay so let's watch let's cut the here my way cut the belt I can stock up a little bit so we turn petroleum in a barrel light oil in a barrel heavy oil in a barrel heavy oil comes down this is heavy oil here and it'll be added to by each of its each of its other four refineries. Goes through a balancer. Heavy oil is going to come here and get cracked straight into light oil. Uh, no, actually, here's the first heavy oil. That's heavy. Oil. Heavy oil is one belt. So heavy oil gets turned into straight into lubricant, um, and all the empty barrels get put straight into you know straight back onto the belt and into this machine. Uh, um, because we need for every barrel of heavy oil we get. Let's bring this up. 
we put in 28 heavy oil, we actually get out 37 lubricant. So we need all the barrels to come here. And plus with some extra empty barrels, this is why we've got this feeder belt coming in. All right, and we get lube. Same story with heavy. So all the, uh, the rest of the heavy oil barrels come here and they get turned into light oil. 21 in, 21 out. Ah, 21 a tiny bit in, but 21 a tiny bit less out. So we actually got a positive barrel contents here. A lack of, you know, whatever. So we take all the barrels in. We do have a feeder belt here that's not connected because in theory, we don't need extra uh, light oil. We're extra empty barrels because we should be able to turn all these into these with the excess going on this belt and coming back out to over here which will be full of no over here which should be full of empty barrels uh then this light oil comes out goes with all the rest of your light oil and gets turned into rocket fuel first whatever's not turned to rocket fuel gets turned into petroleum right here and you can see we've got 25 coming in, 22 coming out, so they all get passed direct straight through, except for the excess, which comes down, out, down, and gets fed back out to the belt system. Uh, the last one is special. Uh, this one's actually, and we can probably see it on the map, it's one half machine extra. Um, because this, this light oil to petroleum is the exact ratio of petroleum to sulfuric acid so we're actually going light to petroleum excess barrels being tossed uh petroleum out to petroleum in or acid and that pipe shouldn't be there obviously uh neither should that obviously the blueprint slips somewhere along the way yep Just one part of it slipped. I hope, because it's not exactly a tiny blueprint. Uh, petroleum out gets turned straight into sulfur, and um, sulfur gets turned into sulfuric acid, obviously. Um, I still have water pickups to put everywhere. Um, there's still a lot of work to be done to get all this up and running. Uh, and then, of course, whatever petroleum's left gets turned straight into plastic, because... Plastic is very important, I've been told. Um, so that, that's that's basically our oil build. It is giant, it is massive, um, and it's the only one I've ever seen that runs on belts. Lots and lots, lots of belts. Um, I've seen them done with bots before, but never, ever, ever belts. Okay, so we've got oil hooked up. We've got at least this half in theory running um how many belt barrels do we have not nearly enough but we do have some that have done the full loop uh we've got a hundred okay so let's turn this back on and we can watch some barrels run for a little bit so barrels get pulled off for uh petroleum barrels get pulled off for light oil barrels get pulled off for heavy oil we do have tanks in here, so we don't have to be 100% perfect. But of course, when one backs up, the next one stops, and the next one stops. Uh, we've got petroleum coming down, light oil coming down, heavy oils, this inside belt. That's still adding, that's still adding, this is going to be removing. So when the heavy oil gets here, it prioritizes off. Come on. And get straight, turn straight into lubricant. These empty barrels get dumped. And at the moment, lube is going absolutely nowhere. Um, we'll just put that there. So we can see lube ends there. It doesn't go any further. Um... When this is backed up, only when it's backed up with heavy oil do we then start cracking. Um, light, you can see we're already starting to make rocket fuel with empty barrels being kicked back out to the system. Um, but same story, we're still missing a lot of modules. Mainly speed modules. 
Um, but still a lot of modules. And making seven per minute is not nearly enough. Uh, that's light to... No, that's empty barrels. So again, we are feeding some empty barrels into this system in case some of these inserters need extra empty barrels. Gee, that's the only ones that up to need extra. So maybe this belt's redundant. Not sure. Not sure at this stage. Um, so yeah, the biggest issue we have at the moment is we just don't have nearly enough... Uh, we've got plastic running. Half running. The other half don't run. Because uh, it's fed from the other side. That would be why. Mm. Ah, because again, yeah, we just don't have nearly enough barrels in the system and oil pressure in the system. We're going to have to work out what's up with our barrel production and probably what's up with our refineries. Mainly barrels, it seems. All right. Because, yes, being a barrel-based system, it needs a certain amount of barrels to be up and running. That's the problem. I don't think we have nearly enough barrels. So, let's go find... I'm willing to bet it's in the make everything. That seems like a semi-logical spot for me to build... Barrels. We're on a steel line. Steel line's up there... Here we go. And the issue is they take one second and we have one assembler. Let's just change this slightly. Um, it's only temporary. Like, really temporary. Not like temporary where you just happen to leave it there for the rest of the game. This is actually temporary just so we have enough arrow pressure, so to speak. Uh, du, 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 du. Power, 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 power. Uh, I give you speed modules, but I have none. So, oh, I know I was missing something. Oh, maybe a step. Okay. That's not really good enough. Do that. Yeah, it seems a little bit better. Uh, that's there, that's there, that's there, there. Alright. So, whilst we build a barrel of 500, um, I'm going to leave it here for this episode. I'm going to... We've done water for that one, but I will do water for cracking, because that's going to be pretty important soon. So we've got... Heavy to light cracking, and then we've got light to petroleum cracking and good old sulfuric acid. So all those will need a water connection, so I'm going to get them done between episodes. Um, whilst we wait for barrels to be built, because there's just a few. You can output, you can output, you can all output happy. Yeah. Like I said, I'd add speed modules, but we've got none. So, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I do hope you're going to enjoy this series. Um, thoughts, comments, suggestions, wow factors down in the comment section below. Uh, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!